Hey, what up, it's Zito. I'm here with my guy Jimbo with Across the Street. Let's go. My main goal is to blow up and then act like I don't know nobody. <laughs> we don't take no L. Bitch, I'm laughing to the bank, running up the check. Woo! Bitch, I'm laughing to the bank, running up the check. What is good? I'm here today with Zito. How are hey, you, my friend? Good? I'm doing good. Welcome to the show. Uh, we caught up here at Mando's on game day. Um, yo, Portland George putting it down here. Putting in his work. Look at the man work. Look at the man work. <laughs> Let's take a little trip here. Yep. So what have you been up to, my friend? Man, I've been doing music. Um, working on my second album. So I have my first album out called Pay Me As A Villain. I'm doing the second part of Pay Me As A Villain 2 coming out probably in the next, uh, I would say four months, five months. Four months, five months? Yeah, right. I, don't have a, I don't have an exact release date yet. So You had the anniversary with that, was that June, July 15th? Yeah. One for, year anniversary? For the first album, yep. Yeah. yeah. So if you guys ain't copped it yet, go to ripcitygorillas.com. Um, I mean, it's, it's half off right now, so. I'll have those links in the bottom too, so everybody can tap in on that. Yeah. Um, so yeah, the first album had uh, had a bunch of dope features from the town. Um, shit, I mean, a bunch. Uh, shout out Mikey Vegas for hopping on the shit. Dre Steves. I also got some international artists like DJ Khaled, produced a record on there. Um, I got a feature from uh, 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 Tory Lanez and shit on the album. So it's so love. It was, it was dope. Digging through your discography, you know. Today was fun, like digging around on Facebook and oh, you know, yeah. YouTube and stuff and checking all your stuff. One of my favorite ones, I think, was the Deer Rose Project. No doubt. Um, Aaron Brian Smith? Yep, name? Aaron O'Brien. Yep, yo, yeah, Aaron O'Brien. Yo, where, yeah. where is he from? He's from Portland. Is he from Portland? Yeah, he's a triple threat to do the rap, sing, produce, all that shit. Yep. I would like to reach out to him and get him I on the show. Good, I really I like you. what he did there. That's a great combo. Yeah. Great feel. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Aaron O'Brien's the truth. Yep. Super dope. And then, of course, your relationship on there with Portland George. You get a couple shout outs. You get the city mad freaking love on it. There's so many faces I've seen about, you know, Roulette, yeah. Charissa, blah, blah. I mean, yeah. you were killing it. It was, it was a good movement, too, because uh, when we did the, um, I dropped the video and the single and stuff. Then we did a Dero's Challenge. I don't know if you got to see that. I don't know if I saw the challenge. Yeah, yeah it was yeah. dope. So we did a Dero's Challenge where uh, Young Mill from Aeon Visual, shout out Young Mill. Shout out Young Mill, yeah. Um, we did a contest. So artists did a remix of Dear Rose, and whoever won got a free music video with uh, with Aeon Visual, right? Um, and I'm talking like uh, Delgado won as far as doing a whole music video to it. A Dear Rose music video remix. Uh, 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 Jay Lava did as well. Jay Lava, yeah. Did a real extensive uh, video and all that. So wow. I thought it was dope that it started to bring the community together um, on a positive tip. And I mean, and, and it's dope that. I was seeing my peers remit my music. That was like 2019, too. Yeah, 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 yeah. right. So I mean, that's yeah. some years back. So you were kind of forward thinking. Yeah, yeah. for the city back then. Even. Well, yeah, because the way I, what I saw it was, um, there's so many artists in Portland that are doing dope shit, right? But it goes unnoticed. It goes unnoticed not only within our own city, but um, mm -hmm. outside looking in. Uh, the Northwest isn't necessarily considered a valid region in, in hip hop. You know what I mean? It so, feels like that sometimes too. You're okay, come on. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's why I made the song. That was the motivation behind it. So I'll brag on behalf of everybody else, you know what I mean? No, that was, again, all the familiar faces, I smiled all the way through it. Great yeah. feel to it. Yeah. Um, also the Laugh Into the Bank project, of course. That was the one you put out not too long ago. The yeah. intro to that is like, I'm captivated right away. Oh uh, yeah. Like, I hear laugh. I did the Joker voice too, that was me. Oh really? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Dad, you nailed the model too for the uh, was Harley Quinn. Yeah, yeah, Ryan. She's a um, she's a dancer in Portland. And yeah, so she she killed that shit. Yeah, she looked dead on this role. I was like, wow. Yeah. How did that project come about, and what what made you want to use that Joker? Was it just because it was current, or? Well, I mean, I was trying to go with conceptual shit. So the name of the album is Paint Is a Villain, right? So mm -hmm. I was trying to run with that, and I was like, on top of that, I wanted to do something that was different. Some I hadn't seen before. Right. And so, you know, Joker is a real infamous villain. And I've always been intrigued by that character, so I wanted to kind of recreate him in my own way. And uh, he's been recreated multiple times, so I was like, I want to do my own version of him. Right. right. No, you killed yeah. it. Uh, that was a really fun yeah. project. Appreciate it, yeah. Um, yeah, the, are, you, are you a DC fan or a comic book fan? Or? Yeah, yeah, all that shit, bro. I'm yeah. a nerd with all that shit. <laughs> um, <laughs> it was funny, too, we had downtown bugging. Because, you know, Portland is uh, wilding lately with, the, with all the shit that's been going on. Yeah. 
And so when we went down there, I'm in full Joker gear. And you had the whole cast. I had all my goons with me with baseball bats and chains. We're running around Portland, and people are just slamming on their cars in the middle of Broadway with their camera phones out. <laughs> this shit ended up on the news, local news for the oh, night. Oh, it is? Yeah, oh, I didn't know. I didn't know. I got tagged in this shit from someone random, so. Uh, speaking of the news, um, I'd like to give a special shout-out to Suzette Smith. She's yeah. a writer at Willamette Week, and uh, she featured Charissa Shiree's story about the train bombing. Yeah. Uh, she got photo bombed and it went viral. Homie, yeah. she's, and she she's featured our story, so shout out to Suzette. Appreciate you. Shout out to Charissa as well. Yeah, no um, that was a cool uh, She movie. actually, um, she hosted a con one of my concerts and shit right before the pandemic was super successful. So yeah, oh. shout out uh, Charissa, yeah. Uh, we have one little thing in common, you and I just poking around on your social media. Did you get all the way through the true story yet on Netflix with Kevin Hart? Yeah, oh yeah. Great, huh? Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, That was fun, huh? Yeah, it was dope. It was dope. <laughs> Kevin Hart killed us. Uh, we have a friend here, of course, uh, our good friend Portland George here at Mando. Yes. PG, Portland George, he's out, he's free, not guilty, you motherfuckers, so he's doubting them. But um, that's my manager as well. Let's go check out the, you just made an order, of course. We're going to make a quick run through here and... Uh, and uh, uh, see if we can get us in trouble maybe outside. Let's go check out Portland. Oh, yeah. Let's go see George. The spot's cracking today, too. The Timbers game, All everybody's out in full force. Look at my man, just busy as heck, too. Look at him. Just busy. PG! <laughs> Say what's up. My, man, my man's buried in orders. <laughs> Brought the whole family with you today, too. Oh, yeah. Too. My hey. wife, my kids. Welcome, Say welcome. what's up. <laughs> yeah, they're being shot. Well, let's go make a little trip outside and see, if, uh, see how the weather is. Yeah. What'd you order? What'd you order? Uh, everything. I got the burger. I got the, burger. I got the, burger. the wings and shit. Yeah, all of it. I always, I always seem to go for the burgers myself. Yeah, I'm being a fat kid today. <laughs> I never thought soccer was such a huge thing, but man, it's kind of... Soccer is a popping oh, yeah. event. People yeah. fuck with the timbers. Yeah. Oh, we made it out under the rain here. <laughs> Yikes. I don't know if this is much better, but it's a little better. That's a word. So you got anything else in the works? I know you got a show coming up. It's uh, December 18th, right? Yeah, it's for uh, uh, Leak the Barber's birthday. That's in Seattle? No, no, no. So I just did a show in, in, Seattle. in Seattle. Yeah, um, I headlined that for, um, it was actually a rock group. Up in Seattle, um, it was it was a lead singer's birthday, so they hired me to go rock the oh, party dope. and shit like all that. Right, yeah. All right, all um, right. That shit was live, but uh, no, it's on the 18th. It's at um, damn, I forgot damn, the name of it. We're getting wet as hell out here too. Sorry, my friend. Yeah, you good? Um, and yeah, it's gonna be on the 18th for Leek's birthday. I'll show um, that flyer right. For next sure, right yeah, here. yeah. It's uh, uh, Hef is uh, DJing and then uh, we're gonna celebrate Portland George's birthday as well. Oh, so it's his birthday too. Yep. It's gonna be I'm crazy. sure that's gonna be fun. Oh, yeah. Is he gonna bring food? <laughs> yeah, you better bring them cupcakes, man. You better bring something, <laughs> right? Don't but, show me. Um, yeah, and then I got a, um, I got hired uh, to do a movie, an actor. So. Oh, cool. Yeah, and I'm shooting it on the 19th. So. How'd you get that gig? I've been acting, bro. So like, and I'll, I'll send some footage okay. to you. So I'm in a show, a series called Green Fiction. It's not released yet. All right. Um, the pandemic kind of put a hold on production, but it's almost done. Um, I've been in PlayStation commercials, all this shit. TV really? Shows and shit, yeah. Wow. I'll get you that stuff. I'll get you that How did you, uh, what did, how did that ever just turn about? Is that something you just fell into, or? Um, I mean, I'm a, I'm a creator to its core, you feel me? So, yeah. like, an artist. I never, I never grew up, like, I want to be an actor, stuff like that. I just, uh, fell into it, being in the industry, networking, meeting people. And before I know it, I was on a TV show on TNT called The Librarians. And after that, I fell in love with the shit, and then got a, went to start doing classes, got an agent, all that, and just... It just snowballed, you know what I mean? Wow. Yeah. Wow, congratulations. Thanks, I guess bro. that's something. I mean, is that really like, I know music's one thing, but you must have just as much passion for the acting then, All right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I draw. I mean, anything Creative. I can create, yeah, 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 I got a passion for it, so. Well, you kind of answered my question. One of my favorite questions on the show is what else are you good at? But I guess yeah. that kind of narrows it down. <laughs> the guy does just about everything. Man, anything <laughs> I can do to create, yeah. So, like, I just, the music I've been doing the longest, you know what I mean? So, right. yeah. Are you from the town? No, I've been here for a long time. Okay. So I, I lived on the East Coast, Queens. I've lived uh, in, in various areas around Oregon. Okay. Um, I've been here since, I've been here for at least 15 years, maybe more now consistently. Uh, I moved back and forth a lot. So like when I was a little kid, I was actually in OG1's program called Gang Peace. Yeah, what year was, was that? What year was oh, that? Oh, I was like, fuck, I was like 
what, six, seven years old and stuff like that. Wow. So, yeah, because in the neighborhood and shit, back in the 90s, I mean, they was recruiting hard for gangbanging and shit, and they grab us young. And mm -hmm. so OG1 uh, wanted to make sure we had shit to do outside that when we got to school, so we weren't doing the dumb shit. You know what That's I mean? That's dope. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Well, I mean, look what happened. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know. It, Transformed the mind. Yeah. You know? I didn't. I, I still got my little trouble, but it definitely helped a lot for sure. So shout out David Jackson, DJ LG1 for sure. Yeah. He's been solid out here. I really love, sure, you know, yeah. the Portland Hip Hop Week. Um, it's been a cool thing that they did, you know. Just this year, it turned out to be pretty good, and yeah, yeah. What it takes effort to create things and start things, and he's there for us. Uh, always, for anything yeah, always. He got the so. um, the testimony and the uh, Rise of the Rose project out. Yep. Everybody tap in. I'm on yep. that shit. I'm on the cipher. With uh, uh, Shrista's on that shit. Juma. Juma. Uh, yeah. Cool Nuts. Yep. All on that cipher. The same song. All in one song. So. Smack. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. The My City one, we talked a little bit about that. Um, or actually, we didn't yet. The My City, My City. one. Oh, with the, with the motorcycles. The and motorcycles shit. and yeah. shit. I love the, the like Rastafarian vibe of that kind of, you know, boom yeah. bap feel. Yeah. And you yeah. really come with like some, like, I don't know, I really sense a lyricist out of you on that one. Like, yeah. yeah really yeah. bringing the bars. I'm going to show more of that on the ne next project, number two. Okay. Yeah. I was really, the first album was more just commercial shit, me trying to just capture the audience, mm -hmm. right? Uh, get everybody's attention. Now that I got their attention, I'm gonna kind of be a little more um, deeper, a little more artistic with my shit. So, right. Yeah. Are you gonna work with Juma some of them on some of the visuals? Oh yeah, for Aon. sure. Yeah. yeah we, we, we always just gonna be Young Mill. Always just gonna be Juma Black yeah. in my visuals, no yeah. matter what. So, I got a chance to chop it up with Juma Father's Day uh, oh, down in Gresham. He's doing a pop up down there. Yeah, you got him on here yet? Uh, just that short little interview that we did there when he was selling some clothes. But uh, okay. we've been in contact. Love to have Juma on the show as well. No doubt. Um, any town favorites of yours? Any people you've been messing with recently or listening to or on that's your good, radar? That's a good question. I mean, I feel like I feel like we have a bunch of talented artists in the town, so I don't really got anybody specific. Right. Um, I did notice that within hip-hop, there's different worlds, different sectors and stuff, right? And a lot of artists are kind of in their own little mm -hmm. reality, right? That they feel like this is what's going on, that's it, right? And so I've been made in a point to kind of bridge that gap as much as I can. Great. So that's I'm fucking thing. with all different type of camps, styles, you know, Artists of different worlds of hip hop, basically, yeah. So, what does it take for someone to work with you then? Like, simple email or? Yeah, they got to shoot a. Uh, if you know Portland George, go ahead and uh, give them a DM, shoot them a text. Um, or you can go zito.booking.com and just reach out. Let me know what you want to do. Let me know uh, the details and all that. And we'll, sure. we'll, we'll talk it over. Yeah. Sounds pretty simple to get a hold of them, man. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, for yeah. real. Um, the video part that you work on so much, it seems like, is like the funnest part, I think, for once you finish a song. Yeah. You get a, yeah. Is that something that takes you a long time to put into work with your director? Or is that something you guys just get on the phone and just you and Young Mill or, or you know, Juma, you guys get right to it? Or Yeah, I mean, that's why I fuck with Young Mill and Juma because they understand what I'm saying right away. It's never it's never hard for me to get my vision across um, because I can't be difficult. I do extra shit. I, you see, it. my videos are never simple. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, they're movie quality. Yeah, that's so I, I always have this whole... Because I got this experience in acting, I apply the blueprint and all that. You're like, I need this. Oh, I yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Um, so I make sure to really uh, hone in on that because I want to I want to make the visuals of Portland. Uh, I want to keep raising the bar every single time. You know what well, I'm you saying? definitely so, have. They look great. I don't know if there's you, anybody else doing <laughs> quite movie level stuff hey, like bro, that. Hey, but if you put that out there, though, because, you know, you got to keep pushing the line, keep pressing the bar. I don't even care who does it. Somebody's got to do it. You know what I mean? Oh, make them look nice. Uh, one of my favorite projects around town recently, DeAndre Collins and Timmy Hendricks hooked up on the Runts project. I ain't seen it. Oh, either. fabulous. I oh, it's on really, it. really good. Yep. Yeah, they did a great job with it's the visuals. Album? Uh, it's a single that Timmy just put out called uh, Runts. Runts, okay. Uh, yep. Super yep. dope, though. No uh, doubt. I'm going to check my that out. Bangers I've been slapping yeah. out lately, for sure. Yeah, no doubt. Um, what else you got going on? Anything else fun? Did you do anything else fun today? Shit, not today. You see this bullshit out no, here. It's like bullshit like crazy. <laughs> <laughs> they got us out here. Look at this tent we're underneath. Man. It's about ready to drip and fall on us. It's all good. We got to get the footage, right? <laughs> got to get it in, right? Um, yeah, man. So, like, uh, yeah, really, it's just me working. Like, I'm on the low just working on the second album, right? Okay. Doing a little bit of shows here and there. I'm going to be doing a lot more shows once I drop the second album. Um, are you going to do the secret drop on that? Or are you going to get put out? People always like put out the date, and then we sit around waiting for detox to drop. Uh, you know? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, no, no. I have a, I have a, a well-planned out marketing strategy and shit like that. So, yeah, like, yeah. and artists are watching this shit, like, you have to treat it like a business. You have to have a, a quarterly goal. 
you know, uh, micro goals. You gotta, you gotta hit those marks every single time. If you don't, it's just a hobby. And then you're not gonna get that, that success out of it that you want. So yeah, I'm definitely treating it like a business. 100%. So if, if you had to start over again, you know, from square one in the music stuff, yeah, what would maybe be one thing that you wish you would have done sooner? Um, sooner? Sooner. Um, um, I would have uh, educated myself on the business side of the music industry. I'm talking licensing. I'm talking publication. I'm talking mastering rights, all that. You need to understand that shit because once you you know, break a plateau past just local artists, right? Or whatever people mm -hmm. want to say. Um, it gets to a point where you need to know that shit or you'll be taken advantage of. Or you might not even make it to that point you don't even know how that works. You see what I'm saying? And it's very important, especially when it comes to getting your, you know, getting your royalties, getting actual residuals back from the art that you're creating and putting out to the world. Is that it's, something? It's expensive to make, you know what I mean? So, is it something that you've re reaped benefits from? Um, have yeah. Have you had a chance to collect small royalties or large royalties, whatever it may be? I or? finally am at that point where um, I am, you know what I mean? Because I have educated myself on that, but it took me a long time to be like, yo, I need to know how this works, you know what I mean? So I basically, with Pay Me as a Villain, I, I created my own website, ripcitygorillas.com. Link in the description and, below. Bam. <laughs> and um, so I basically, uh, for the first four months, I made it only available there, right? I did not put it on any streaming. So what I did was all my marketing, all my campaigns, all my ads, direct the traffic solely to that site. You couldn't get it anywhere else, right? For purchases. Because what artists don't know, a lot of people don't know, is your streamings don't pay you shit. It's like point zero zero three cents on the stream and shit like that. 600 bucks for a Bro. million streams or yeah, something. Yeah, right? the streaming companies are, 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 are uh, taking advantage. So what they do is if you reallocate all the traffic to where you can make money off your music, and then once you see it plateau, they're not release it to all the streaming platforms. You feel like you've like gathered as much as you can, so yeah, because you get the yeah. analytics, the data. Sure. You see, you know where it's coming it's from. Coming down, yeah. Or so going up. Yeah. I waited for this shit to plateau out, and then and then I released it on, on streaming. Because if you give them streaming too soon, people are gonna choose streaming over purchase, right? Mm -hmm. Period. Um, so that's 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 definitely the way to go. Um, I I was blessed. I mean, last album grossed about. I posted the numbers for my fans because I wanted to give them props because, you know, it was them that did it, you know what I mean? Uh, it grossed about 86000 um off for a year. It took about a year. No, nah, it took wow. about, uh, what, 13 months? 13, 13 14 months? months? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, man. Um, hey. So I posted, the, I posted the stats and everything uh, on Facebook and, and, you know, give a shout-out to my fans and supporters and shit. And uh, my goal is to break 100 on this next one, so... I, yeah. It sounds like you have a great marketing plan set up yeah. next, with as well as you do with that one. Uh, it yeah, should yeah. be no problem. Uh, yeah. I mean, independently, it's just hard. But, I mean, if you invest the money, you might as well do it. So, I guess that's another thing, too. you got to kind of take money to make money. And I think you've yeah. kind of proven that with this theory that you've used with the yeah. release of your album. And yeah. Well, I mean, because, I mean, think about it. A lot of artists, especially independent artists, they're not, they don't have investors that have labels. So what they do is they're taking their own money. They're paying for the beats, they're paying for all this shit, right? And now they get this project done and they put thousands of dollars in and then they just put it on social media or they put it on Spotify. And it's like, that's not how you get a return. It's, it totally getting, makes it's sense. deeper than yeah. that, bro. So, yeah. You sound like the kind of guy that doesn't really hold the keys or, you know, you're nah, not, never, bro. Yeah. I, have, I have rappers all the time in my inbox, yo, how'd you do this? And I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm willing to, you know what I'm saying? I'm willing to definitely pass that along. So I want everybody to eat, so. Yeah. Uh, ran through about 19 minutes here pretty quick on the show. Um, no got a few minutes left here. You want to give us some shout outs, special PSA, words of encouragement on the way out of here? Um, shit, really for the town, I mean, you know, let's come together, let's build. Um, fuck that ego shit. It's all love, man. Oh. Um, Zito, thank you so much for joining the show. If there's anything I can yeah. do for you in the future, you just let me know. I appreciate it. Um, yeah. Other than that, uh, Hopefully, hopefully George's got your order ready by now. He was back oh, there. no, this shit was lined up, bro. <laughs> he said it was going to be like a half hour for some burger. We'll see. He was busy. It's uh, happening. that. Congratulations to him, though. So, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Shout out, PG. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, cheers. We'll see you soon, okay? All right. Thanks. Cheers.